welcome back to my channel if you don't me i'm ulsha choudhury and today i'm going to create a soft glam makeup look this makeup will be soft yet glam and we will mix soft and glam together and we'll create a soft glam makeup look so a quick shout out goes to zaina binte maru she's a very nearest and dearest subscriber of mine she's really cute and a sweetheart so with that please make sure to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell and give a thumbs up to my video it will help me a lot with that let's get started so for primer i'm going to use my favorite primer from nyx it's nyx angel veil primer it's really good and i really love this primer this helps my foundation to last a long time in my skin so i'm going to apply my primer so for next step i'm going to use my foundation so for my foundation today i'm going to use my color pop foundation this is color pop stick foundation so today i'm going to use a stick foundation so i'm going to apply like three swipe on each side of my cheeks and i think it will be enough and i will be applying my cons i mean foundation in my neck all now with a beauty sponge i'm going to blend my foundation this is uh i magic beauty sponge it's really very cheap and it's also a good quality sponge so today we are going to do a soft glam makeup look for that reason i want to make everything soft and flawless so for that reason i will not i will not put excess foundation on my face like i need my foundation to be medium coverage So I'm done applying my foundation. Now let's move on to concealer. For concealer, I'm going to use my Tarte Cheap Tip concealer. It is one of my favorite concealer. You already know because I literally use this concealer in almost in my every video. I love this concealer so 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 much. This is like my baby. So today I'm going to use my Tarte Cheap Tip concealer. If you want a drugstore option, then you can definitely use CoverGirl concealer or BH Cosmetic concealer. BH Cosmetic concealer is just awesome. You will love it. And CoverGirl concealer is also amazing. It's exact due to Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to apply my concealer underneath my eyes, and I'm going to. draw a small triangle not like a big triangle a small triangle because we are making a soft glam makeup look so for a soft glam makeup look i want my skin to be really soft and natural so quickly i'm going to blend out my concealer I'm done applying my concealer, and you already know what next I'm going to do. This is my powder, and I hope you already know what powder I'm going to use. Yes, you are right. I'm going to use my favorite powder, and it's from Milani Fit Me. So I'm going to apply my powder underneath my eyes. I So I'm done applying my powder in my under eyes. So for next step, to use my powder, you already know I love to set my entire face using a pressed powder because it gives a less powdery look and it sets my foundation also. And setting your foundation is a must, must, must. So I'm going to take my top face powder and I'm going to apply my powder in all over my. So I'm going to take a powder brush and I'm going to brush my powder in my face. Now quickly I'm going to draw my eyebrows. For drawing my eyebrows, I'm taking a eyebrow pencil and I will quickly draw my eyebrows. Then I'm 
going to set my eyebrows using Oxy Cosmetics Eyebrow Mascara. This is a brown tinted mascara. So I'm done setting my eyebrows. Now let's move on to my bronzer, blush and highlight. Then we will jump to our eyes. So for my bronzer, I'm going to use my W7 bronzer. This is a really good bronzer and I love this bronzer a lot. Now for my blush, I'm going to use this Jordana blush. This is in the shade Apple Cheeks. This bronzer, I'm sorry, this blush is really very pigmented. So you need a little bit. So next, I'm going to do my highlighter. For my highlighter, I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. So I'm done applying my highlighter also. Now I'm going to quickly contour my nose. So I'm done contouring my nose. Now let's move to eye makeup. So for my eyeshadow, I'm going to use Colourpop Yes Please eyeshadow palette. And at first for my transitional color, I'm going to take this color right here. I will take a fluffy brush and I will apply this color to my crease. Now in soft glam makeup look, everything needs to be really very soft and blended. means it will be soft but it will also be glamorous like you will do nothing and you will look glamorous so i'm done applying my transitional color and i have blended my transitional color also now i'm going to mix this two color and i will apply it on my outer v And I will at first stamp my color in my outer V and then I will blend it in my lids and in my crease. Now I'm going to bring those same two colors in my lower lash line. Now I'm going to cut my crease using my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer.
To set my cut crease, I'm going to use this skin colored eyeshadow on my cut crease. It will give a softer look to my eyes and it will look very soft, subtle but yet glamorous. And I'm going to use same matte color in my inner corner. Now I'm going to just tight line my lash line. So I'm done tight lining my eyes. Now I'm going to apply my mascara and I'm going to use my Too Faced mascara on my both upper and lower lashes. Look what have I done. I just hate myself doing this. So before applying my lashes, I'm going to apply my lipstick. Before that, I'm going to show you which lashes I'm going to use. Today, I'm going to use this lashes. Uh, so before applying my lashes, I will do my lips. For my lipstick, I will today apply three lipstick like a lip liner, a lipstick and a lip gloss. The lip gloss is from Revolution Pro and this is in the shade Sweet and I will use this lipstick from Lagmani and it's in the shade 1 and I'm going to use this lip liner. So first I'm going to line my lips. Now in the center, I'm going to pop on a lighter nude lipstick. Now I will pop on my gloss and it's from Revolution Pro. So I'm done applying my gloss. I will pop on my lash and I will be right back. So my beauty babes, this is the finished and completed makeup look. Hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please give a thumbs up and share this video with your friends and family. And please subscribe to my channel. It will help me a lot. With that, I'm going to wrap up my video. Take love. Bye guys.